Hi everyone, I'm Ben Jones with Data Literacy. Happy National AI Literacy Day. It's Friday, April 19th. Today is National AI Literacy Day. Did you know that? Of course, it's such a critical topic and my company, Data Literacy, has been diving right in in the past couple of years, building out courses and writing books that we feel are helpful to help people learn about AI so that they can participate in the really important conversations happening all around us today about how these transformative but controversial technologies are going to be used. So in today's short video, I want to cover some recent books that I've read. They're all within the last four or five years, and they help you gain a great understanding about various topics within AI. I've numbered them one to 10. Each one gets its own little award associated with it. And with that, let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so 10 books that I recommend you read in order to really become more proficient in AI. So the first is actually my favorite of the 10, and it's just called Artificial Intelligence, A Guide for Thinking Humans. Now, this book was written by Melanie Mitchell. She's a professor at the Santa Fe Institute and also Portland State University. She's been in AI for a while. She's really well known for her work in complexity science. So what this book is all about, so she is taking a critical exploration of you know the history of AI, what it can do today, some of the ways it might be limited, and she also dives into some ethical implications and concerns. I find this to be a really accessible read. And also she tells her personal side of the story, her involvement, her perspective. So it's a real insider's take. You know, she's been in the field for a while now. She's seen a lot of these rounds of AI winters and booms, so she sort of sees the bigger picture. Um, and I think her perspectives are very balanced. So I love this book, really recommend you read it. Okay, number two is a really touching book. It's called The World's Eye See by Dr. Fei-Fei Li at the Stanford Human-Centered AI Institute, or HAI. It was written uh, last year, 2023, and it's really a memoir. You know, she's a trailblazer in the field. She's really well known for her pioneering work creating ImageNet. This was this massive visual database of captioned photos that was hugely influential in pushing a lot of the advances of deep learning and specifically computer vision. So she doesn't just tell the story of AI and the history of AI, and she also doesn't just give her perspective about you know this deep learning revolution that she's played a huge role in. She also tells the story of her family immigrating from China, you know, and just what that felt like, also how it f feels like to be a woman in a historically male-dominated field. Of all of the 10, this one I call the best memoir. Number three, this one's a real expose. So Unmasking AI by Joy Bualamwini. Now this book, she is, by the way, the founder of the Algorithmic Justice League. She's a leading scholar and activist in AI, and she's recognized for some groundbreaking research that really reveal racial and gender biases mostly in the facial recognition technologies, which is where you get the idea of unmasking. She actually had to hold a mask up to her face uh, to be able to get the facial recognition technology to, to notice her. So that uh, kind of led to this career in identifying and combating some of these hidden and not so hidden forms of algorithmic bias that you know a lot of the leaders of the field of AI you know, aren't necessarily doing much about as much as they should. So she's become a champion for that. This is a really heartfelt and powerful book. So I recommend you take a look at Unmasking AI by Joy Bolognini. Okay, number four, this is a great historical read. It's called A Brief History of Artificial Intelligence. This is from 2021. So, you know, it's missing some of the recent stuff like ChatGPT and generative AI uh, explosion that we've been seeing. And so this was written by Michael Woldridge. He's at um, Oxford, actually, the University of Oxford. He's a professor there, a really prominent figure in the artificial intelligence world. And so I, I really like this book. You know, it's a really comprehensive overview that really traces sort of the evolution of the field of AI from its inception all the way up to today, or at least to 2021. And in that, he really uh, kind of gives almost a humorous uh, witty, even maybe snarky take on some of the different debates and fiascos that you might see within the history of AI. So I just found it to be an interesting book. I actually listened to this one on Audible, so I really recommend it as well. You get to get a sense of some of the political components of the world of AI from his point of view as a leader in that world. 
Okay, this one is an eye-opener. I call this one the most concerning. It's called The Coming Wave by Mustafa Suleiman. Now, Mustafa, who is he? Well, <clears throat> you've probably heard his name. He's a co-founder of DeepMind. This is the company that Google acquired that led to AlphaGo and so many other kind of deep learning advancements in the past decade. But more recently, he started up another company and then actually has been pulled over to head up uh, AI within Microsoft. So he's been in the news quite a bit recently. He was also in the news for his book last year, this one right here, The Coming Wave. I consider this to be a really eye-opening book where you know he's, he's looking at some of the possibilities of combining some big uh, technological advancements, AI, but also synthetic biology, and even potentially quantum computing. What happens if these three things come together? And he gives some pretty sobering perspective about some of the possible harms that could be done on a mass scale. So it's sobering, it's actually kind of scary, but somehow in it, and what I like about it, he maintains some optimism. You know, he's a technologist, and so he kind of paints a picture in how maybe we can get in front of some of these potential human uses of AI to cause harm. And so, you know, he paints a picture for some of the steps we need to take now in order to prevent some of these catastrophes that he describes from coming to pass. Now, this one just came out last month. Uh, this is Ethan Mollick's book, Co-Intelligence, 2024, April. And he is, you know, widely known as, well, first of all, he teaches at the Wharton School and he's a professor of management there and really uh, is a specialist within the world of innovation and entrepreneurship. And so he has been kind of on the forefront, you know, from a user perspective. He's not a computer scientist, neither am I, um, but he has been using these generative AI tools from even before the time we heard about them. And, you know, he's very vocal and um, uh, pr uh, prolific in terms of the content he puts out there, the experiments he does. He was really a pioneer of incorporating generative AI into the classroom. And so in Co-Intelligence, he talks about ways we can work together with AI, both in life and in work, as you see there on the cover, trying to find a way to adapt and coexist, trying to find a way to use them in synergistic ways. You know, it's pretty balanced. I would say he's pro-generative AI, pro-technology, but he's not certainly by no means is he uninformed about all the problems inherent in this new wave of technologies. And so he discusses that too. So I uh, definitely recommend this book. It's, again, it's hot off the presses, co-intelligence. Okay, I love this one. This is really helpful for folks that are non-technical, um, but also he, he covers the technical aspects as well from a layman's point of view, layperson's point of view. So this is Artificial Negligence by... James Wilson. James, uh, you know, known for his expertise in AI ethics. He is a former leadership partner at Gartner. Now he's at Capgemini. Of course, his book is his own book, not associated with any of his employers. Um, and so this book uh, covers some of the, the risks of AI. And he really uses kind of humorous and, and uh, colorful analogies to help you kind of envision uh, how your data is being used, some concerns and whether you should be afraid or not, and he names his little assistant here Aiden, and uh, so that's an assistant that he has do a lot of jobs for him. So Aiden is sort of a presence throughout the book. So I really love James Wilson's book here, Artificial Negligence, only a couple years old, it's very, very relevant, as fast moving as everything has been in AI. Now the last three books all come from the same series. They're the MIT Press Essential Knowledge series. These are smaller books, and they are packed though. And so I found them very helpful. They're written by experts. The first one here, I would consider to be uh, almost uh, very philosophical in tone or tenor. And it's just called AI Ethics by Mark Kokelberg. He is um, a professor of philosophy at the University of Vienna. And so he's distinguished for, you know, a lot of critical analyses of the social and ethical implications of technology and robotics. So in this book, he talks about some of the different ethical, moral, and legal challenges associated with AI, even the more philosophical concepts associated with, you know, the relationship between humans and machines. So he covers a lot of ground, you know, everything from very practical to very philosophical and, and some things in between there. So I did like this book, AI Ethics. He uh, checks off a lot of the items on the list of things that we need to be thinking about as we continue to develop and deploy AI.
This one is nice and succinct, Machine Learning by Ethem Alpadin. And so he just gives you the overview of machine learning, right? The different kinds of machine learning, like supervised, unsupervised, or reinforcement learning. Um, he talks about a bit of the evolution of machine learning as well as, a, as an approach. And so also giving you a good idea of many of the different real world applications. I like this book for those of you who want to understand why machine learning has become a such uh, really the dominant uh, paradigm within uh, the field of AI, I would say over the last couple decades, then this book gives you a taste of that. Now the last one is probably the hardest one. This is the most technical book. This is Deep Learning by John D. Kelleher. He is academic leader at the Technology University of Dublin. And, you know, he really gets into the math of deep learning, deep neural networks. So he covers concepts like back propagation and gradient descent. So, yeah, you, you need to be a little ready to get into the mathematics itself, to get into the equations. Again, this one's going to be a bit more challenging for your average person, maybe without a technical background, because he does go into the mathematical underpinnings of deep neural networks and gives you some perspective about how they actually work, you know, under the hood. So I uh, really like this book, though, and recommend it as well. Well, okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little roundup of 10 recent AI books. If you dive into them one by one like I did over the next year or so, I think you'll really learn a lot, and I think you'll enjoy them as well. And, of course, you know, take a look at my book, AI Literacy Fundamentals. You can get this in paperback or in Kindle or on our site in PDF form. And I hope you enjoy, if you're a reader like me, there's so much out there right now we can dive into and learn f about AI. And so you can really just, again, the goal here is to you know, educate yourself. Now's the time to do that. Now's the time really to make sure that you're informed about all the pros and the cons and the nuances and everything in between so you can understand how AI is affecting your world. All right, everyone. Happy National AI Literacy Day. Take care. Let us know if you have any thoughts or questions. Talk to you soon.